Good morning and welcome to day two of a week of Matchbox Hot Wheels and other random toy cars out of charity shops because there's not really a name for this show and I'm just kind of putting it on because I can do and there's no funny introduction this morning either. Terribly sorry. Breathe! <gasps> I am your host, Ekron Toyman Vulture, and here's a bag of toy cars that we're going to look at. Mmm. Hopefully not going to spend too long looking at these again. We're aiming for ten minutes. I can actually time it now because, I yes, I am doing it all in one go, minus the last episode because that one's going to be difficult. And if you don't like that, I'm terribly sorry to ruin your immersion, but I have things to do this holiday. Which may include driving to Manchester and Stockport to fetch a type of camera if the guy sells it to me. Not for this filming. Trust me, you don't want me to film the videos on those kind of cameras, but yes. Uh, this particular bag looked like it was more recentist, sort of 2000s, 1990s, so forth in toy cars, with a few exceptions, which is why I brought it. Um, so we will get straight on with that, starting with this car, which uh, it's a Subaru, isn't it? Is that is that Subaru? Uh, it, uh, no, it's a Mitsubishi. It's a Mitsubishi. It's got a weird feel to it straight away. The spoiler is plastic. It's got a number plate. It's a, Oh, it actually tells you what it is. It's a Lance Revolution. And it's got, you know, it says Lancer and Evolution there, which you won't be able to make out, probably, because focus. Uh, I don't like the feel of that, just the thing. I'm going to guess real toy. Yes, it's a real toy. There we go. I'm starting to learn the brands of cars just by handling them. Real toy, 158 scale. I mean, it's all right. Listen to the noise it makes. I mean, that is quite indicative of Mitsubishi when they're going wrong, that they make weird noises. I mean... It's like, hang on, you've got to do it right. It's a Mitsubishi, so you've got to make sure it rolls on its roof as well. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. It's an all right toy car. It's got its mirror still. It's quite nice condition. Um, you know, you're probably going to be looking at the 2000s to do, you know, to recent for that. It's not that old, but it's quite nice. There's nothing wrong with it. I always prefer a good old Matchbox or a Hot Wheels, unless I like this one, which when you look at it, do you remember those metal machines we covered a while ago? The, um... The brand that they're still selling, actually. They've got some new ones out, which I was going to buy and cover. When I saw, saw this, like, taking it out of the bag now, I thought it was one of those because of this plastic. Because it's just so yellow and nasty. But when you look at the bottom, it's actually your Hot Wheels. Accelerum. Now, again, a, a weird one. You know, they've got the sort of Hot Wheels branding now where they're stamping it into the base, but they're not putting dates on. So I would guess this is going to be somewhere around the 2000s for its design. This is where I look it up online, and it's a prototype, and the only one that exists, and it's like, oh, my God, you've got a rare car. Stop doing that! Um, it's all right. I mean, it rolls nice. It rolls much nicer than the real toy, uh, which isn't much of a real toy. Yeah, take that real toy. You sideswiped it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's all right. It's um, quite nice condition. It's got this sort of plastic. That's not a sticker that's printed directly onto the plastic. It's all right. I don't like it that much. It's not my kind of car. As you know, I do prefer the more realistic type ones and bosses. As you've seen over there, I should probably turn the autofocus off. There we go. Now we're focused at this angle. Now, wrong with it. You know, it's going to go over there next to the Siku. And now we're going to pull this one up. What the hell is this? Well, this is going to be another Hot Wheels, isn't it? Yes, the Phantom Racer, 2004. I wonder if that was building on the Phantom Menace, which I totally didn't buy on VHS the other day because I'm a loony. Mm. Interesting design, you know, there's no rear mirror. Or no ability for me to hold on to it, no rear mirror, so you can't see out, which is bad if you're being followed by the police. Two seats. There's a steering wheel. Yay. This doesn't appear to come off. Sometimes these, uh, and some of the cars, you can kind of take the top bit off. Um... I think we do have one of those cars here as well that you can do. Not in this bag, but in one of the bags. But obviously we can't do that with this one, which is fine. Rolls all right. Nothing wrong with it. We've been through three cars already. We're already four minutes in. Speed up. Now look at this abomination. This is heavy. This is this is heavy and weird. I don't know what this is. It's option D. Option D. Option douchebag. Tokyo Tires HK. It's quite a nice, like it's a well-built thing. What is it? Jada toys. It's very reflective on the bottom, so I don't think we can make out what it is. Oh, it's even got tires that are coming loose, which is why that won't spin. So if I realign these tires, will it roll correctly? It might do. Yeah, let's just get these realigned. It's now this one. Oh, look, it's held in by actual screws, so we could unscrew this. You can't see it. They're Phillips head screws. There you go. You can see that one. Phillips head screws, so feasibly we could unscrew this whole thing, take it apart, and go, wow! But I'm not going to because that's effort. But yeah, this is a Jada Toys. 
Jada Toys Incorporated, scale 164, Sizen IC, used under license, made in China. Never heard of this brand of toy car before, but to be fair, that's a very, it's ever so slightly, like, we look at the scales as well, you can see the scales are slightly different. Oh yeah, focus. Focus! It's actually quite a nice toy car. It even rolls fairly well. You know, you wouldn't want that thrown at your head by a child, though, because it's very, very hefty and chunky, and yeah... That appears to be a sticker on the front as well. So it's not the most, it's not the best thing I've ever seen, but you know, you'd, 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 Hot Wheels and Matchboxes are a pound, like roughly a pound, one fifty per car, depending on where you go. Uh, I could see you paying like two twenty for a car like this, and you wouldn't necessarily feel ripped off, especially with the fact that the tires can come straight off. That's not bad at all. I might actually open it up at some point and have a look inside. Never seen one of those. Probably never see another one, but who cares? How's about this? I am a dragonfly. This is going to be called dragonfly, isn't it? Um, so these come up. Hello, I'm a bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit car. Now I'm a fast evil car. Now I'm a cute bunny rabbit. Now I'm a fast... Oh, I broke it. Shit. <laughs> no, please, go back inside. There we go, I fixed it. Right, let's stop doing that. What is this? This is the, the buzz bomb. It's the Hot Wheels unfocusing buzz bomb which kind of makes sense so i was wrong it's not a dragonfly it's a bee and these come up i mean they're you know they've got that sort of bee wing texture haven't they uh you look on the inside it's just protecting a load of tosh i could be in manchester being dressed as a bird right now but i'm here doing this uh, big wheels how does it roll how does the buzz bomb roll how do you roll bro bzz, 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 bzz. That's how the buzz bomb rolls. He takes out two matchboxes in one bally go to get on the front row. Oh, right. Let's move on to this now. Look at this atrocious atrocity. Now, does that come up? No, that doesn't come up. That's plastic. That's metal. This is just horrific. This is the ooze coop. Literally O-O-Z coop. O-O-Z. 2003 Malaysia. I mean, it's quite a lot of detail on the bottom, to be fair. You know, it's always nice when they put the detail, exhaust, engine, um, mother's thing in her wardrobe you shouldn't be looking at. Um, don't like that. I, I, it's just not my sort of design. The wheels are hidden. It's it's just not my kind of thing. It rolls okay, all things considered. It, it does a nice spin. It, and, you know, it kind of... You could use it as a sledge for another toy car. Oh, we're looking at that one next, aren't we? Whoops. Yeah, you don't like that one. Uh, and it, it failed to take out two knockoffs as well, so it didn't even get to be on the front row. We're going to put it here because no one will ever see it again. It's just hidden. <laughs> you can't look. You can't see it because no one likes you. No one likes you. But we like this one. There's a go. This is the reason I brought this bag because, of course, it is a 55 Chevy. Mm, but looking on the bottom. Hot Wheels, 1978 Malaysia. Orange, still rolls pretty well, look at it. But I did a little bit of research on this one because of course I did, and apparently it's a colour changer, and I forgot to bring the water. So, the Horde is hot, and the Alliance, because they're bastards, are cold. Now, I've read online that these are colour changers, so uh, let's put it in cold first. It looks more orange. But I don't think that's done anything to it. Okay, that's fair enough. So let's put it in warm now. Well, you can see that wheel wiggling a bit. <clears throat> Is that turning more yellow? I don't know. Tell you what, let's just leave that over there for a bit. I don't think it's going to do anything pretty cold. And let's look at some other toy cars. I bet that's not going to change now. And I'm just putting a, an old toy car in water for no reason. Look! It's going to be another real toy, a BMW series something or other. Yes, real toy, BMW 5. More solid built than the other one. No reason to really cover this. Particularly, it rolls quite well straight into the horde, and the horde stops it because, you know, my life for the horde. Uh, that's not doing anything, is it? It's not a colour changer. Damn you, eBay, for giving me the wrong information. <laughs> it's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Quite a nice real toy. Uh, that pizza's getting to me now. Whoops. We've got two cars left, and then we'll call it. This is going to be another real toy, isn't it? And it's a Nissan, and I bet you it's a ZX Fair Lady or a Nissan 300 Fair Lady, isn't it? Nissan Fair Lady Z. Well, I got the Fair Lady bit right. 
ZX300 is like the name they used in America for it. Yeah, again, another solid real toy. Nothing particularly wrong with it. Rolls quite... That one actually rolls really well. You can really sort of force it in. And then it crashes as well, which most Nissans do, to be fair. It's what happens to most Nissans. And on to the last one. Look, there's the empty bag again. The last toy car of the day is this one. Yeah, it looks like that um, fish one that we covered ages and ages ago when I was doing the bloody uh, Hot Wheels calendar before my channel was successful. Ah, I've got enough subscribers to call myself successful. I can sort of, yeah, I've got 284 or whatever subscribers I've got. Yeah, look at me. You know, you can trust me. I'm uh, going to the next YouTube con. I'm not. What is this? This is a Hot Wheels 1980 Corvette. Made in 1982, is that? That's hard to read, that is. Yeah, that's actually quite a bit older than I thought. That's 1982. Um, I thought this was a sort of 90s one, although it does sort of make sense with the way it's built. Very solid toy, very nice. Paintwork is very good. Nice find in a toy bag. And as we come to an end, we can pull this out. We can see that um, literally nothing has changed. So the Chevy 55 is not a colour changer, but at least now it has had a clean and can be deemed a nice, clean car. Shame about that, really. I might have to experiment with hotter and colder water, but uh, yeah, I'd been told, well, I'd read that these were colour changer ones. It does look more orange, but it's possible that the paint's just buggered. I mean, that you know, what are these as well? They're chips in the paintwork itself. You know, stuff ruins over time. I mean, just look at me, for example. I'm just completely destroyed, I am. But yeah, that was another set of toy cars that are going there. There we go, you can go there. Another set of toy cars from Charity Shops. Thank you for tuning in today too. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you did and tune in tomorrow for yet more toy cars from Charity Shops. And I tell you, I'm looking at one of my favourite bags right now. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. My life for the horde. <laughs>